Well, this is exactly where that Black Lives Matter protest started in June last year. Now the location of a vigil for George Floyd. Later this evening, a nine-minute silence will be held in his memory. Now, Bristol is deeply rooted in Britain's slave trade past, and we're about half a mile from where the statue of Edward Colston was pulled down, one of the most significant moments in this city's history. An explosion of anger ignited by George Floyd's murder in America. His final moments were watched across the world and Bristol rose up. In the place of a slave trader stood a symbol of the Black Lives Matter movement. So powerful it briefly replaced the statue of Edward Colston, now immortalised through a mural. The, the murder of George Floyd and, and watching that scene and the, the emotions that I felt was i.e. being a black woman and not being valued, being unrepresented. Regardless of whether it's in America, whether it's in the UK, you know, these are my people of colour and I will stand with them and march with them and, and fight against racism. What has changed over the last year for you? For me, personally, I don't think anything has changed. I think what it has done is given people a voice and it's people have started to have very uncomfortable conversations. Conversations that community leaders are having in schools. For years, Lawrence has been educating younger generations about racial discrimination. Now, though, he says attitudes are changing. We're making the change. So we're being the change that we wanted to see. We're, we're creating the educational resources to enhance the curriculum. It's kind of crazy that you're still hearing the same conversations and have, I'm having the conversations now with young people that I was having with elders 30, 40 years ago. What do you want to see change? Well, I've wanted to see for a long time before this has all happened. And I'd like just to see accountability for the failings that we witness daily. Obviously. I think that's what irritated not just black people, white people. Everyone, everyone. So people want to see a change no, in humanity. Stuff. In this walking group, women encourage each other to speak out about racism. It's good, you know, because it's recognising that, you know what, stuff like this does happen and we can't, we've got to stop brushing it under the carpet. So you're hopeful? I feel hopeful. So there was a lot of change there. I just feel hopeful and I just, you know, people becoming um, more friendly. George Floyd's death led to change never seen before in Britain. After years of feeling silenced, many say their voices are now being heard. But the conversation's just getting started. Sangeet Talal. ITV News.